Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to use the command line interface on Control-M server to kill, hold, free, and delete jobs in the active jobs database. For many of these commands, we're going to be using the CTMPSM utility. There's an interactive option to CTMPSM where you can work through menus, but we'll be using the utility with parameters so we can use it non-interactively. Executing the CTM PSM with an invalid argument, we can get the syntax usage. You can use this for reference or you can also refer to the documentation for more detail. I'll start by clearing my screen and running the CTM PSM utility with the list all option to display all of my jobs inactive. I'm going to clear my screen again and look for a specific folder where I have a few long running jobs. I'll use the list AJFFLD option with CTM PSM to do this. Here I see I have a few long running jobs in executing and I need to kill one. I'll use the CTM kill job utility to kill one of these jobs by passing the order ID of the job to the utility. Running the CTM PSM utility with the list AJFFLD option, I can see my job is killed. Now, I want to hold the second job in this series. To do this, I'll use the CTM PSM utility with the update AJF option, followed by the order ID and then the command hold. We can next issue a similar command to free the job with the CTM PSM utility. I'll use the same update AJF option with the same order ID and the free command. I'll confirm what was done to this job with the CTM log utility using the list ord option and the order ID. Here I use asterisk as the time. We can see that the job was held and then freed. The username associated with all of the actions is going to be the ID that is currently logged in and running the utility. Last, I'm going to delete a job. Remember, deleting a job is just adding a deleted flag to it. The job is actually still present in the active job database. It just isn't seen in the all active jobs viewpoint in the workload automation GUI. Deleted jobs will be removed from the active jobs database with the next new day. I'm going to list our folder again and then delete the job we had originally killed. You can see here that it won't let me delete it because it's not currently held. I'll hold this job and then issue the delete command again. We can see that this time it worked. Please note, you can't delete a job that is in an executing or submitted state, even if it's held. This concludes this Control-M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.